Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new episode of Darts Around the Globe, a series where we meet a new darts player from a new country every episode. Today is already episode number 10 of this series. 10 players from 10 different countries with each of them, no matter how small their international achievements, love for the darts and many stories to tell. Today we are virtually traveling to Ukraine to meet the multiple Ukrainian champion and the WDF tournament finalist Artem Usyk. This is Artem Usyk from Ukraine and this is Darts Around the Globe. Today we have a new guest, it's uh, Artem Usyk, he is a multiple champion of uh, Ukraine. Um, Artem, uh, how are you doing today? Hello PM, I'm doing well, thank you for introduction, well, for introducing me for the interview. It's Darts Around the Globe, <laughs> let's yeah. speak. Yeah, um, yeah. Are you are you still uh, healthy and uh, doing uh, doing well over there in U Ukraine? Yeah, thanks God, I'm still healthy. Um, visited my job, uh, going every day to the office. Uh, after office practice, <laughs> all all is similar, but uh, just because of a lot of uh, uh, you know all the situation in the, in the world in Ukraine, it's of course uh, very hard. Uh, very hard, uh, not 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 regular, not usual, uh, mm -hmm. not usually. No. Well, at least uh, good to hear that you still have a job you can go to and uh, still uh, can find the time to uh, to practice your darts. Um, yeah, you are one of the um, lesser known uh, darts players in this uh, podcast series. Um, yeah, can you introduce mm -hmm. yourself a little? Um, like, where are you living at the moment, and how did you start playing darts? Okay, I'm living in Ukraine, Kiev, uh, in the capital of Ukraine. Uh, playing darts for uh, maybe 18 years. First time uh, I knew and see what darts is uh, at uh, early age, of eight years old. Wow! Uh, when my father uh, bought, uh, you know, Chinese uh, cheap uh, dart boards, mm -hmm. just for fun, and uh, that was my first time when I threw darts. And after that, uh, it just was like kick it fun, you know, uh, just just to throw, just uh, uh, nothing serious. Uh, but uh, when I uh, when I've been in the university, I started to play a little bit seriously, uh, more serious. Uh, first time I won uh, Ukrainian championship uh, when I was uh, early 18 years old. Really young. And age. after that, I was. Uh, yeah, 18 years old. It was my first time when I won uh, the big tournament in Ukraine. And after that, I understood that I'm having fun, that I'm really enjoying uh, this game, and I want to uh, keep going. You know, uh, to try to try myself in this kind of sport. Of course, uh, during all this year, it's uh, more hobby than uh, something uh, really serious or. Uh, main job, no, it not it is. Uh, still need to earn money on the job. Yeah. But anyway, uh, anyway, after job, I'm coming uh, home, coming back home, and uh, trying to find free time to practice darts. And uh, mm, I would like to say that uh, maybe last five years, this was really um, changing moment for me in uh, in in. In, in kind of darts because yeah. I'm really understood that I want to play not only in Ukraine that uh, we uh, we want to uh, try ourselves uh, in the Europe and with few years ago we were starting um, to visit uh, WDF and BDO tournaments after that I understood that I want my my, my main goal is uh, the big stage Ali Pali and I will never uh, uh, I will not. Uh, how to say? I will be there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's yes. your that's your main goal. Well, I mean, the the, yep. the PDC definitely uh, needs Ukrainian representation because uh, there's never been uh, a darts player from Ukraine on the on any uh, PDC tournament yep. uh, actually. Yep. Um, yeah, like you said, the last five years uh, and especially the last uh, well two three years, you played a lot yep. of uh, tournaments uh, internationally, but. I want to go a little bit um, uh, earlier in your life. You said at 18 year old, years old you won the, the championship of Ukraine for the first time. In the time between that 8 years old and that 18 year old, did you, 18 year old, did you uh, play local tournaments? Did you play friends or 
Uh, how did you improve yourself to uh, finally became become the champion of Ukraine? Uh, you know, it was uh, uh, a little bit uh, funny story because uh, uh, when I was a kid, uh, I would like to say that I was a kid between eight and eighteen years old. Mm -hmm. uh, I changed a lot of different kind of sports: uh, sport, gymnastic, football, basketball, like every kid uh, in the world. Uh, I was looking for myself, I was trying in different sports, but uh, the darts was uh, always with me, uh, because uh, anyway, uh, in any kind of sport I, I've been, uh, anyway, I've, I was trying to play in the local tournaments. There was not so big, of course, at, the, uh, at that time, but anyway, I was trying to uh, take part in every tournament. Uh, but uh, th 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 that time I didn't uh, set any goals for me, you know. Just it was fun. It was uh, with friends, uh, and it's it, it was okay uh, to spend some time on it. But after that, uh, one mo it, at, at one moment, uh, uh, I was uh, felt I, I felt myself that I'm a little bit grow grew up in yeah. that. Uh, because every day you play in any way you should uh, grow in. Yeah, was so, it was it a surprise for you to become a national champion at 18 years old, or were you the best yeah, player at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was a really it, it was a big surprise for me because, uh, as I said, I, on on that year I didn't send, set any goals to win uh, the Ukrainian championship. Uh, it was like that was my day, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I I I not remember very good the times, uh, but I really uh, remember those feelings. That it was really shock for me, and uh, after that it a little bit changed my life because I understood that I want to play darts. Yeah, after that I went to a university in Kiev because my native city is uh, a little bit 200 kilometers from Kiev, and I moved from uh, my city to the, to Kiev. And it was in university years, and during the university I was trying to play. In 2013, I guess, I visited my first European uh, tournament, it was Dutch Open, in the Bonte Weber. Yeah. <laughs> uh, after that it was really, really, really uh, big changes for me, because uh, I spent, uh, I, I moved for uh, five rounds, in the sixth round at the last, the last 64. I guess uh, I lost to uh, Marco Smith, uh, Holland's player. Mm -hmm. After that, I came back to Ukraine and I said, "Wow, it was really nice, and uh, it's uh, it's something special uh, to play abroad. It's it's really uh, so special feeling. So, uh, it's it. I was re really uh, enjoyed it, and uh, after that, I understood it." Yeah, I want to try. But uh, as uh, as every regular guy in in Ukraine, and now where is darts is not so popular. Of course, on my, on the first place it was university. It, it was to looking for my first job. Yeah. Uh, to find to find my same, my, my, myself in life. So uh, darts was maybe on the third and the fourth place. But anyway, I was still practicing when I had had some times. No, after after that we cooperated with uh, our Ukrainian players and understood that it decided that we need to to try to start uh, going through the Eastern Europe tournament to grab some points mm -hmm. in the Eastern, Eastern region. Uh, of course, we decided to start from the video because uh, PDC circuit is really, you should, you should be a, a really stable and good player. And uh, we decided to start from the video yeah, it uh, it went uh, pretty well uh, so far for you. Um, yeah, you you said the the Dutch Open in two thousand fourteen was one of your first tournaments ab abroad, um, and then you tournament. yeah that was the first tournament, and then you um, got home in Ukraine um, from the uh, the biggest biggest tournament in the world with the most uh, participants yep. to darts in Ukraine. What what is the, what is the difference between those uh, two countries? Wow, it's, uh, it's a very big difference, of course. In, uh, first of all, it's a difference in, in culture and uh, in uh, in atmosphere, you know. Uh, because uh, when you came to the biggest tournament in the world, uh, you see 
all uh, all the best things that darts have in one place. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, I can't say any bad words. Uh, only positive moments, only positive members, and uh, uh, it was first uh, first uh, conversations with professional darts players, first photos. Uh, I I did a good job on that tournament. Uh, five wins, the six. It was lost, but okay. For the first time, it was really. Uh, what can I say? It's on, only best memories. Yeah, I came um... back to Ukraine. yeah, I came back to to Ukraine. Of course, I told uh, everyone uh, that guys, <laughs> it's it's really something special. Uh, we 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 we've been uh, in Holland with a team, with a small team for four guys, and all, all came back, and all was really, uh, really, all, all of us enjoyed it. Well, that uh, sounds good. And can you tell us more about the darts in uh, Ukraine? Is it, well, you already said it's not really popular, but do you feel like it's a sport that that's getting more popular over the years? Yeah, for sure. It's getting more popular uh, even in Ukraine. Uh, it's very sad to say that uh, uh, Europe countries uh, don't know yet <laughs> yeah. about the Ukraine. Uh, but for the, but last few years uh, changed this thing because we uh, hold uh, two WDF and, w and BDO tournaments. Uh, so great players from East Europe uh, came to us. Uh, uh, so a little bit uh, the things coming better, but because of Corona, <laughs> uh, right now it's of course. Uh, People's caring, you know, to to play in, in clubs. Uh, we are not spending right now uh, any tournaments. Uh, it stopped because of uh, our government. We can do it. But previous uh, last few three years, it was really a massive push in uh, darts for Ukraine. Uh, from 100 uh, people who was playing like five years ago during a year during ranking tournaments. Mm -hmm. uh, we grew, we grew up to three four hundred uh, during career. Of course, uh, not everybody uh, moving uh, to another city to play. But anyway, when when we are coming to the another regions, local players uh, enjoy us. Uh, and during career, it's really three four hundred people who are playing uh, darts, and it's nice. Of course, we have a big country. <laughs> Uh, it can be can can be more, but uh, a little bit uh, not popular right now because it's not Olympic uh, sports, and uh, no. parents prefer uh, to send their uh, kids to more popular uh, sports. Yeah, I mean, and, well, so there there's still it, it's still an amazing development from around a hundred people to four hundred people. Um, yeah, you you said the word uh, rankings over there uh, in your. Uh, mm -hmm your uh, sentences um yeah th tell us a bit more about the local darts in ukraine is it only something that um uh, occurs in the capital in kiev or is it spread out of the con over the country oh no it's spread out around the country uh i would like to say it's uh, seven or uh, eight regions okay. for uh who, who holding uh, the local tournaments and where we are going during the normal year, <laughs> where we are going to play a ranking tournament uh, for the uh, to to qualify for the main tournament uh, of the year. So uh, we have uh, may, may, maybe more. I, I, I can't say uh, like ten, eleven. Of course, uh, in, in in other cities there are maybe two, three players per city where they are playing. Yeah. But uh, strong local teams, it's uh, eight, eight regions. Uh, so they are playing local tournaments uh, like uh, Kiev Championship uh, and other regions. Uh, so And after that, uh, best players uh, qualifying for the main tournament. Uh, also, we have uh, not only uh, 501 uh, Championship, of course, it's uh, the main tournament, but also we have uh, Cricket Championship of Ukraine. Uh, mixed uh, uh, pairs, uh, just pairs, uh, and that's all. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, and, and teams, and teams, and the, the fifths, uh, teams. Yeah. 
they're playing teams. Yeah, and you so, did uh, so five, five championships. Yeah, you did pretty well on those uh, championships over Ukraine. Um, uh, yeah. Let's let's move uh, the conversation to um, yeah the biggest tournament or tournaments of Ukraine. Um, it's the the Ukraine Open and the uh, um, the Kiev uh, Masters. Um, yep. Do you think that having those WDF tournaments in your country um, improves the darts among the Ukrainian darts players too? Of course, of course. Uh, also, uh, it's very nice to say that on those tournaments uh, we saw new people from the from Ukraine. Uh, there was players who we didn't know previously. Uh, I don't know why they didn't contact contact us previously, but uh, they came uh, for the first time because they uh, it was uh, they they uh, knew about this tournament. And uh, of course they came and uh, we met them and uh, right now they are still playing. Uh, so and among uh, those players who are playing for years, uh, wow, it was uh, really, re- really big uh, competition, of course. And uh, uh, we, uh, you know, we have uh, a lot of players in U- in Ukraine who are uh, playing uh, stable. Stable. They are practicing. But in any reason, they can go to the Europe. Uh, so to see the Europe uh, in your country, <laughs> uh, for them also it was uh, a really big, big achievement and a big, uh, big tournament. Yeah, uh, so I can I can course, imagine that. Course, yeah. So of course, of course, uh, it was uh, it was for the first time. Uh, it was only two years when we uh, first two years uh, when we hold this tournament. Of course, for the first time, it was a little bit uh, hard because uh, big tournaments. Uh, but anyway, uh, anyway, uh, I think organizations was on the high level, uh, and we we was looking forward to continue uh, to hold this tournament. But <laughs> because of COVID, <laughs> yeah, COVID, that's a. Uh... Most of the tournaments, yeah, unfortunate, uh, at least, yeah. Um, in in 2019, you had well quite success on the, that Ukrainian darts weekend. You got into the final of the Ukraine mm-hmm. Open. Um, eventually, you you lost against the Romanian player Gabriel Pascaru. Um, yeah, how yeah. Are you how are you looking back at that uh, tournament? Well, it was. Uh... It was a little. Um, it, it was, uh, as I said, it was really. I enjoyed this tournament. Uh, but uh, anyway, when you're playing at home, uh, it's something, some special feelings, uh, because you're playing uh, near your friends. Uh, they are standing behind you. They are supporting you. Uh, your family. Uh, they all been there, and uh, of course, it's a little bit uh, special pressure. I would like to say. I don't know. Uh, but of course, it's special feelings. It's I, I, I cannot say anything more because it really was special to play at home, not to go to Europe. Uh, Europe came to you. Well, it was great. Yeah, and uh, I saw there were uh, indeed a lot of other Ukrainian uh, players also um, winning points over there at those uh, uh, WDF yep. tournaments. Uh, so that's uh, that's uh, um, good to hear. Yeah, can you tell us more about? Um, those other Ukrainian players um, because you you have a a WDF um, team, a national team too. Um, Mm -hmm. Besides you, are there also other um, uh, Ukrainian players that you think, well, they might uh, um, uh, win a tournament over in the future somewhere? Yeah, I believe it. (laughs) Why we are playing that? They all uh, have a goal uh, to take their place on Elipali or any other possible PDC circuit. Uh, without that, it's uh, no, it's uh, yeah. We, we have like I, I think to be true, up to ten players who are really uh, putting a goal to to become a pro player. Okay. Uh, it's it, of course it's uh, different lives and uh, different situations why they can do it right now. But anyway, I know that. Uh, we, we we don't need to go far away. It's our national team. That's a uh, very strong, great guys. Alexei Bushui, uh, Alexander yeah. Mamika, uh, Vladislav Melchenko. Uh, they are all very professional guys. Uh, they are playing good darts. Uh, it just just it, 
this situation right now, it's really, really stopped a lot of players around the world, uh, what to say about Ukraine. Sometimes it happens, but anyway, uh, they are practicing, as I know, uh, now they are not taking part, not all taking part in online tournaments right now. Uh, it all depends on the point of view of player. Uh, for, some, for, some, for someone, maybe it's not uh, good to play online. They are not enjoying, maybe. Well, it's it's uh, definitely uh, playing online darts is definitely a different, um, well, different circumstances different, yeah. of of playing. Um, yeah, what's your uh, opinion on online darts? You you played uh, quite a lot of online. You were in the, or, or mm -hmm. well, you were in the WDF uh, Virtual uh, World Cup representing Ukraine again. Um, yeah, what's your opinion on uh, online darts? Wow, it's. Uh... Uh, at this situation, this year, it's uh, safe. <laughs> it's safe for every player. Uh, first of all, of, of course, in this situation, it's uh, the best that's the best that uh, can be right now. Uh, for the second, it's uh, opportunity to play with professional darts players around the world. Uh, probably, you you cannot achieve uh, such. Uh, Opportunity to play with PDC player uh, in live tournaments, uh, but here you have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's uh, that's of course the positive side. It's it's kind of different, of course. It's it's different. Uh, I, I I I would like to say, as every Dutch player will say, that uh, uh, to play live, of course, it's more action, more uh, and another nerves, another uh, another darts, maybe. Uh, it's a little bit different, uh, but in any uh, any way, in this situation, it's uh, the best that we can have. Yeah. Um, While well, talking about playing in real life, um, you played in the WDF Europe Cup and the the World Cup uh, last year um, in Team mm -hmm. Ukraine. Um, how is it to represent your country and to to wear a, a, a re Ukrainian uh, jersey? Oh my God! It was. So is the most special feelings uh, I would like to say. Uh, it's a big honor to represent your country uh, in the World Cup, in Euro Cup. Uh, it's a really big honor. Uh, so here only serious darts can be. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, anyway, it, it, it was really, uh, really one of the best moments in my life. Uh, among the results, uh, all, all was on the high level. Uh, it was a special time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, something what I'm just imagining now. Um, you're there with uh, your um, well, U Ukraine Ukrainian uh, teammates and darts players from all around the world. Um, are there particular countries where you um, maybe get in contact with, or particular darts players who you met before uh, at that uh, World Cup? Yeah, we we are keep keep in touch with uh, Romanian guys, Poland guys. Uh, we are good friends, I think, and uh, with with Russian team, uh, Boris Kolsov, Alexei Kadeshnikov, We all know each other very good. Uh, so if well, I didn't understand a lot, uh, a little bit the question, but if you s asked about the contact there, yeah, we have a friends. Uh, we met them. Uh, we are keeping in touch even now. Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's the the answer uh, on the question that I uh, uh, asked because I was wondering because I know many of the Dutch guys they uh, keep contact with the Belgium guys or the German guys. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's uh, it's great to hear you. Um, you have your own uh, group of uh, of countries you you have a, a, a good uh, contact with. Um, yeah, you said um, your ultimate dream is uh, to play on the PDC circuit. You haven't been yes. active a lot on on the PDC circuit uh, yet. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about the the World Championship qualifier um, it was last weekend in Russia. Um, yeah, just looking at the political problems those two countries have, is it? Was that a reason to not go um, to uh, Moscow to play that uh, quali qualification tournament, or do you think you're you're not ready yet for for uh, that tournament? No, no, we are we are we are ready to to try ourselves there, and it's not about a political situation. Of course, uh, it's uh, a little bit uh, adds uh, to the old 
situation, but not because uh, because we are friends. Uh, uh, those politicals, it's there, you know, it's their things. Mm -hmm. uh, between the other players, we are still good players, uh, st still good friends, so uh, that was not uh, the main reason why we didn't go this year. We didn't go this year because of borders are closed, because of COVID. We are in the red zone, red zone right now, and uh, we cannot go anyway there. Uh, it's really sad side because uh, we was really ready, we was uh, ready to buy tickets, to book uh, apartments, to play there, uh, but because of COVID we uh, didn't go there this year. Uh, in previous years, in past, uh, we took part uh, in this tournament, uh, maybe three or four years ago there was 10 or 12 players from Ukraine it was our the biggest dele delegation uh, at the moment uh, to Russia qualifiers. Uh, I've been there in th 2013 and 14. Mm, this year, as I said, uh, we had plans to go there, but because of COVID, uh, the borders are closed and uh, mm -hmm. we cannot do anything with it. Yeah, that's uh, that's really unfortunate. But I like how you say that. Um, well, in a way, darts unites and. Yeah, I mean, political situation are just uh, for the politicians, but darts players himself. Um, yeah, if you're friends, then, then the political uh, situation doesn't matter. That's uh, that's the right spirit uh, um, right there. Um, about yeah. the future, about that um, qualification tournament, do you still think Ukraine should be added to the qualification for the um, uh, former Soviet countries? Or do you think it needs to be added to the Eastern European qualifiers, such as uh, where Romania, where Romanian guys plays, or the, the, the Polish guys, uh, Bulgarian, Hungarian mm -hmm. guys. Um, yeah, what's your opinion on that? My personal opinion, that uh, it would be better to go to, 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 uh, to, to the Eastern uh, yeah. Europe qualifications. Uh, it's not uh, because of, as I said, and you said, uh, not about politi pol politics or something else, uh, because uh, there we can go without any pro problems. And uh, so, of course, we want to, to try ourselves there. Uh, we will try this year to write an e email to the PDC uh, to ask how possible to enter Ukraine to the Eastern Europe uh, qualifications, and uh, we'll see. Uh, on my personal opinion, it will be a little bit easier to, with um, to with transfers, with movements, you know, uh, just because of it. Not political situation, maybe, because, you know, for, for, for example, if a uh, player from Ukraine uh, won qualifications in, uh, in Russia and he came back at home, and the uh, Ministry of Sports should know about it, yeah? So how they will uh, uh, how how they will understand it? Uh, it's really I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, difficult situation, and I think an yeah. email will definitely work, um, and the PDC uh, will hopefully listen. Um, yeah, I mean the, the ultimate dream over there in Eastern Europe would be just as um, in the Nordic and Baltic regions, uh, um, a Nord uh, an Eastern European tour, multiple tournaments. Um, spread over different countries in Eastern, Eastern Europe. Is that also something that you would you would like to see in the future? Yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, it, it was, uh, it, 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 what, it, what uh, I'm really looking for and uh, our team looking for, not only me. And uh, also we have a dream to play at World Cup of Darts PDC. Yeah. Uh, we are looking, uh, we will try to look some ways to uh, get in there. Uh, not this year, of course, <laughs> but maybe for the next year uh, we will try. Also, it's uh, we should decide it through the email to the PDC and ask uh, what to do. Of course, we understand that uh, in global, uh, the player from Ukraine should go to the PDC uh, Q school, for example, and after that to take part in PDPA or other PDC tournaments, regular tournaments, uh, Eastern uh, Euro European qualifications, and etc. Uh, we should be there in ranking at least uh, if we want to have a chance to play at the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, we we will try to to email and uh, 
say about us that yeah, Ukraine is here. We already <laughs> we mm. want to we want to play. What should we do? Yeah, I mean, I would de- I would definitely like to see some more uh, Ukraine on the, the PDC circuit. Um, yeah, that that Q school and that challenge tour uh, is that something that is on your agenda too? Maybe next year, maybe the year after next year. To be honest, it was a plan for this year. Oh wow! <laughs> but uh, we can't go. Uh, we we won't, really. We are ready and uh, want to go uh, with uh, our partners. Uh, we want to go to the Q school, but we can. We, we don't know how to do that because every day is a new day and uh, uh, the borders can be closed. You know, it's uh, it's very hard to plan all the trip. Uh, so uh, we will wait a little bit. Maybe something will change and we will see for the hundred percent that we can go. That we can. We are ready to play, but we can. We we don't know for sure. Uh, can we get there at all, physically? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so. U- Ukraine is uh, ready to play, and I think uh, Artem Usyk is also uh, ready to play in the PDC circuit or in the WDF tournaments next year. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, Artem, uh, for this interview, and uh, I wish you uh, all the best with uh, the darts in Ukraine and uh, in your career. Thank you very much, Pim, for this conversation. It was really a big pleasure to speak with you.